Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to a traditional draft of Ravnica Allegiance. We, we could do the ranks draft, but I haven't been having a good time with it. It's a really weird format where, like, people are just winning with some garbage cards, and you're just like, why are you winning with this? I don't understand. And I'd rather just have a traditional draft experience where I get to draft fun cards and cards that are good and uh, win with those. Uh, this pack is not great, but we have a Skier of the Critics, which is probably better than Grotesque Demise. Although Grotesque Demise does end up killing three fives and three fours and two fives. And Skier of the Critics does not. But Skier of the Critics kills five twos, I guess. But those are usually easier to deal with. I like Bullrack, but I don't think... I'm trying to lean away from Gruul this time. Maybe we'll go into Rakdos. Everyone seems to love the Rakdos. Chat Mike didn't get the jokes they needed to live. Oh god, this sounds so sad. Uh, oh, another tasty meme. Oh, this is a good one. If this is the one I think it is. This is... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not what we wanted to take at all. I thought I was clicking on Skewer the Critics. I don't like that it's one click and it takes it. You should have to double click on the card, man. That's not cool. Yeah, that's not okay. Wow. That's terrible. <laughs> we have a good time. We have a good time. Please, please fix it so that you can't just like single click accidentally on a card because that is really easy to do. Oh, I like Syndicate Messenger here. Yeah, I'm definitely not forcing Goblin Gathering. Oh, God. I like Messenger. Consign's also fine. This is this is just the mulligan here. Oh, boy. Oh, Scare the Critics. Okay. It's not over yet. And there's really no good Orzhov cards in here. Orzhov. Every time I say Orzhov, it's weird. Yeah, the Orzhov. You're doing a very good Orzhov. That doesn't make any sense. That wasn't a very good joke. Let's pretend it never happened. I'm going to pick Consign to the Pit. Did you change your streaming schedule and I missed it? No, I changed my uh, depression schedule and you missed it. So, <laughs> oh, it got dark. All right, well, it's either Consign or Twilight Panther here, I'm pretty sure. Five Goblin Gatherings is a good amount. What does the last one make, like seven? I think we're taking Consign, because if we end up Rakdos, we can still play it, whereas the white cards are harder to do in that in that context. Uh, Carnival Carnage. Oh, well, let's take this Ill-Gotten Inheritance. You guys seem to love it. I think it's alright. Hey, let's take another one. Let's just Ill-Gotten Inheritance forever. Uh, Viscopa Vampire seems f -f -f fine. Uh, Twilight Panther or Viscopa Vampire? That is. <sighs> Three drop or one drop that kills them. I think there might be another Twilight Panther coming around. I mean, I know there there was. Whether it gets to us, I'm not sure, but we'll see. No, it did not. Ooh, Kaya's Wrath. That's pretty fascinating. It's got to be Kaya's Wrath, right? It's a Wrath of God. It's a Wrath of God effect, and we have two ill-gotten inheritance. Yeah, we're just going to draft a sick control deck. Jundasaur, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I'll draft all the dirty Mitches. And the clean Mitches as well. There are Mitches for everyone. Everyone deserves their own Mitch. Ah, uh, Oligarch. What's Oligarch? Oligarch? I barely know Oligarch. <laughs> wow, that was terrible. <laughs> He's bad at jokes. Dan Omek, I'm right here. We're together. We're together now, buddy. It's okay, we made it. Uh, could be get the point. Well, that's not bad. C 
See, I meant to. I clicked both of the. I clicked ref, left and right keys, uh, because that zooms in on Magic Online and it selected it for me. Ah, oh, God. I really think the the selecting with one click is a mistake. One click is too easy to to accidentally pick something. That's why you can't one click on Magic Online. I like Racketeers a lot. I think it's good. Mm, grasping Thrill. All right. I mean, I like a Guild Gate as well, but. Oh, Rakdos Guildgate. That actually lets us play the get the point and the skewer the critics easier. Especially because we don't really want... Um, I don't want Orzhov Guildgates because that forces us to run forests. Or, mm, not forests, the other one. Mountains. And I don't think we want really many mountains in the deck, so... Sure. I recently picked up a lot of depression hours on my calendar myself to follow the hours on which I would have been working if not for being laid off. Oh, God, dude. I didn't know that, man. I'm so sorry, dude. Quacker, that sucks, buddy. Holy crap, I had no idea, man. Oh, I like an emergency powers, especially because I just don't have it. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the mythic here. It lets me play Emergency Powers on Magic Online. Oh, another Skewer the Critics with no real no real Orzhov cards. Arakto Skills Gate might come back, but Skewer is probably what I want to take here. We could have three Skewer the Critics. I just want to be clear about that. We could have two Biomancers Familiars as well. Well, Archway Angel doesn't seem like it's going to be that. Oh, could we just take four Ill-Gotten Inheritance? How does anyone beat four Ill-Gotten Inheritance? They don't. Uh, Guildgate. Grasping Thrall number three? Oh, man. Do you just not play any red? Dude, Quacker, I'm so sorry, buddy. Especially because I feel like we've talked about this recently. Do you have any prospects? Are there any, are there any, like... Is there any promise on the horizon for you, buddy? I could probably take out to get the point. Or the Racketeers. I don't know if Grasping Thrill is better than Racketeers, though. I mean, I don't know if, if a third Grasping Thrill is better than a, a, a first Racketeers. Could also just take a two drop. We only have three two drops right now. Well, I got three months paid server and so. Oh, that's actually pretty good then. Yeah, that's not terrible. One ill gotten buck. Kerwit, what's going on, buddy? Kerwit, are those prints sold out yet? I was literally contemplating getting one because they look amazing, but um, we do have an ex we do have an expose in the sideboard. Someone literally just said I would take all the thralls. It was my buddy Dan, so I'm just gonna take it. Done. Give me that Rakdos Guildgate back. Dang it, you didn't do it. Come on, Racky Racky Guildgate. Come on, Iraqi Guildgate. Come on, Iraqi Guildgate. Come on, Iraqi. I think it's too late now, guys. I think I can stop singing. All right, that guy's okay. I'm tempted to just cut the red. Two Rakdos Guildgates might might be messing up our mana a little bit too much. Oh, a twenty, a twenty gems. Uh, I actually don't mind the dog, but I did. I, what did we take instead of it? Like a two drop? Was it a two drop that we took? No, we took the grasping thrall, right? I think that's fine. I think that's better. This puts us at 38 though. Thank you. Shove Jr., thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Chatting with Kerwit for a second. Oh, I don't know about you, but two, that 2 3 Vigilance that untaps when it attacks is per. Yeah, I think the 2 3 is fine. I don't think it's a great creature. I wouldn't like. I mean, I wouldn't like play it. I'd probably play another vampire if I had another vampire. But I think it's fine. I mean, it does what it wants. It's got Vigilance. I think it's good. 
Yeah, maybe we actually just play these and not play. That puts us at 40 exactly, and we can just play like three red sources or something. One, two, three, four. This is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven black sources. That's probably too many. Nine black sources. Five, six, seven. So this is nine, nine, three. Which I think is good. We only have two red cards. Yeah, this is actually fine. Let's do this. Oh, wait. 40 cards? Wait. Hold on. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 7, 8, 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. All right. I guess we took out the... Uh... Drag cards from your hand to the battlefield to play them. I feel like if you need to be told that right now, you are probably not ready for MTG Arena. I feel like if that's a if that's a, a tip that anyone is getting at this moment, you're probably not cut out for it. But, you know. Who am I to say? Who am I to say? Um Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Two lands, we got a trumpeter. We got dub dub dubs trumpeters. Triple ill-gotten inheritance. Uh, if we can hit a third and a fourth land, I'd be okay with it. We go third land, this guy, fourth land, fourth land, fourth land. I don't know if anyone can actually beat this. Like, the amount of damage you have to do is... Oh, now we're talking. Look at this. I'm working on a Gen Agrodecker standard. They thought they might... Oh, that'd be awesome. Jund Aggro seems pretty okay. I <laughs> I would uh I would just suggest making sure the man is alright. Make sure your man is good. I always check my drink before I stream and I'll it's like always like half full. And I'm like, okay, that's good. And then I get two sips in and I'm like, oh, this is a bad mistake. I should have just filled it. Like there's no point in not filling it. Oh, I got that bull rack on the top. Oh, well, that's not a land, because why would it be? Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Oh, biscuits. I don't want to have to block here. I guess we could just attack with both. Congrats on your expected nerdlet. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Here comes bull rack. There we go. All right, all right. No attacks. I mean, I would probably just triple block the bull rack. Actually, it's like a seven. You must be mad to tussle with me. And done. Everything's in the right place. Okay, they hit one card, and it's just a single boy. All right, that's fine. A single boy. Oh, they didn't play it. That's fascinating. Well, if only we had a way to get through to Domri. I mean, it's a little hard to kill at this point. We don't have lands. So, like, they just go double block one. I guess we could attack with both and kill it. And like we're trading a Rakdos Trumpeter for a Sahano Wayfinder. I guess this is fine. I don't love it. They know that they have Menace, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, you will be first, sure. Fucking root snare. Are you kidding?
root snare, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, missing three land drops, it's also not that suit that not that fun. I don't know if you guys have ever played Magic the Gathering before. Um, if you play Magic the Gathering and you miss a land drops, uh, it usually means you're not able to play Magic the Gathering as much as your opponent. So, um, yeah, like missing land drops against, you know, against your opponent when you're playing Magic the Gathering. Um, when they have a Planeswalker and multiple 4-4s, four it's just not as, it's not really as fun, I would say. But, you know, what do I know? Root Snare. Oh, Kaya's Wrath would be gas. Seven damage, huh? I'll take seven. Okay, that's actually good. I guess we don't have to deal with that anymore. And they hit one card, which is a humongous idiot. Kaya's Wrath off the top one time. Let's do it. Let's do it. One time. We deserve it. Come on. Come on. They, ru they rune snared us. Root snare, not rune snare. That's not it. That's not the. That's not the card we're looking for there. Dan Omac, thanks so much, buddy. I will get those damn lands for you, whether they want to be drawn or not. I don't know if you will. There was no land there. What are you going to do? you going to deal two damage to me? Sure. Yeah, I don't think they were that close to ultimating. This is a crab warrior? That's amazing. What a time to be alive, guys. What a time to be alive. Well, that's a lot of things. What is this, 10, 14? Sure, I'll take 14. There's no way you drew a pump spell right off the top, right? That'd be crazy. Or a removal spell. There's no way. That would be insane. Hi! Look at you. Look at you. Thank you for not killing me. Instead of instead of killing me, thank you for not killing me. Appreciate it. It'd be great. It would be terrible if you actually put the put the spell on one of these guys. Uh, in order to have me not die. Let's go to the next game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, I may have overstated my ability to actually do things or accomplish goals. I appreciate your honesty there. I think being honest with yourself and uh, self-aware in that regard is a very strong character trait, so. We already have one of these and two lands. So, yeah, let's put that on the bottom so that we can ideally draw our third land by turn seven. That's my goal. Turn seven's going to show up. We're going to hit that third land. It's going to be great. All right. It's turn two. Oh, we did it. Rhythm of the Wild. I 
I too have a really powerful enchantment that is less powerful than your enchantment. <laughs> Usually means they have nothing. Why would you use the white source and leave me with two black? That doesn't make any sense. It's all very confusing. Alright, well we got a floaty boy And if they kill it, we got a second floaty boy Two floaty boys They're not doing anything And I'm very surprised, I have no idea what's happening right now They could have Collision Colossus And hit this boy I feel like we're actually in a good position here Yeah, this is probably game. You're at six. You're at five from this. You have to deal with both of these guys, and then we can sack this to kill you. My god. Ocean man, I'm taking the bottle handles. Boom, boom. Take one of these out and bring expose. Yeah, it's it's a funny our deck actually performs well and we can actually play our spells when and when we draw our lands. It's actually pretty nice. Well, we already have one consign. Like I don't want to go five drop, five drop, five drop, five drop, six drop, six drop. Like that's just too much high end. I think the I think four five drops and a six drop is is where I, I'm comfortable. Like, I think we have three thrills and uh, get to the point and racketeer right now. Especially when it takes us like seven turns to draw five lands. Just finished my draft and here I am. Monsonster, what's going on, buddy? I like high end stuff. Like Hungry Howies. Same. Same, good sir. Oh, you know what? I'll keep it. Two five drops. That's where I want to be. I do like we have this exposed, though. That's pretty nice. Yeah, Spectacle Demon's pretty nuts. Oh, that's actually all right. We can play this next turn and play Oligarch. Now we actually have lands. This is, this is what we're talking about. This is where I want to be. If you play Rhythm. Ah, that ain't Rhythm. Uh, let's no attack because the 3-3 three, three is pretty strong. Man, this guy every game? Okay, well, no plays here, unfortunately. Next turn, though. Next turn, we got the lockdown. Also, they missed the land drop? Now it's their turn to miss land drops? Wow. All right. I'm going to play this guy first because they're probably going to have to block it. Well, I guess they can activate that idiot. You said I was drafted a captive audience deck and went 7-0 with it. I did not. That is pretty sweet, though. Was it in the Discord? That's where I would have expected it to be. I'm really wondering if the Give a Death Touch spell is actually pretty good. Like, it draws you a card, so, like, it's basically replacing itself. But it turns any of your creatures into, into murderers. Into straight murderers. Thrall into Thrall seems good. I just mentioned it when I... Oh, okay. Not a huge Discord guy. Wow, okay. If you're going to be antisocial about it, I guess. 
Real mature, dude. Can you attack as well? That'd be great. I'll block. Really? My 3-2 gets to trade with your 4-4? Four four? Sure. Oh. How cool. How cool. I didn't actually even see you had a land up, to be honest with you. It looked like they were all tapped down to me. I guess that's my bad. Well, we still have five in the air, so it's like a it's like a three turn clock. If they had Sagittarius Volley to kill this and then kill our two one ones, I'd be real sad though. Tell Mike that the chicky chicky parm parm he suggested was quite. I will. I'll be like, hey, Cyborg Yuri said that chicken parm. Legit. Sure. Wow, this is a lot of. <laughs> a lot of. A lot of lands now. Distribution is not muy bueno. The vic victory is practically in your grasp. That joke was better when all the grasping thralls were still alive. <sighs> oh, the double riot seems good. do this so they have to plus next turn they'll probably do it anyway oh we got a thing is one of the battlefield oh yeah it's under the battlefield so we actually get to resolve that no extra cardos uh do i want this guy I don't know. We put them to seven, and then we have three, four, five. Maybe that's good. Yeah, we can, we can leave that guy. Like, we see all their cards, so. We also get to go to 26, which is pretty high. Ocean Man. Do we want them to draw extra creatures, or do we just want to go to their face? This is actually face, right? Because now we have lethal. Uh, they don't have any creatures in their graveyard? Now yeah, let's take this. Take action. So now we have two blockers. We can go block, block. We take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at 26. Yeah, we should be fine here. If they want to kill their own... I guess they wouldn't kill their Domery, but it doesn't matter. There should be an extra turn unless they can kill our creatures anyway. Which I'm sure they drew a removal spell for them. Here comes a Ravager Worm already. Oh, they gave it haste. That's fantastic. They Perfect draw. Perfect draw. Yep. Perfect draw. You got it. Actually, can we just kill them still? Because they... Oh, they go block, shoot. And then they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Actually, if they alpha here, they're dead, right? We don't have to block anything, right? 10, 11, 12, 13, 18, 19, 20, 21. 
Yeah, I think we just alpha and kill them. They can block two guys. Even if they block the two biggest guys, they still take six. And by block, I mean they block and shoot. I think they just killed themselves. Wow, that's fantastic. All right. <laughs> they had to hold one more guy back. Yeah. So, turns out even if you draw incredibly, incredibly well, you still have to play correctly. Yeah, Bulrak was the out they needed. They could have attacked with everything but one guy. Uh, they shoot a flyer. They block two creatures. So I can't get it on the ground, and they go to one. But, I mean, like, I would have taken, like... I would have gone to, like, eight. So I would have been dead next turn to the same alpha. So. You know what? I'm going to keep this hand because we can play all the things in it. And that's good for me. That's exciting. Do I want to run out Guildgate first? Or just Trumpeter? Maybe just Trumpeter. Trumpeter also lets us attack and skewer this guy and play Guildgate next turn. They were playing Grohl. We have to respect them for staying in character. That's a, that's a solid point. Plus, they also had Rhythm of the Wild, Domri, Guardian Project, and, like, their deck was actually insanely good. Doesn't matter. I wasn't going to do this, but now you forced my hand. I'm super excited to really start streaming regularly and I schedule a compliments Frank so well I have some watch something to watch all through work. Now I won't get anything done. That's okay. Work's overrated anyway. So we're going to take four and then four. And then we're going to gain three. So we're actually going to take five. We should be at 14 when the dust settles, maybe. Well, 11 now. I can play two things next turn, though. That's okay. So we take six, seven. So we should be one, two, three, four, six, seven. We go to nine. We gain two. So we're at 11. Ocean man, take me by the hands the land. Ocean man. Why do I have this Ocean Man song stuck in my head? It's really weird. It's a really weird song. You got the quench? No. Okay. Feels Batman. I guess that's good. Kaya's deck has, has looked good in the deck several for several turns uh looks like they're highlighting our things but i don't know what they could have i feel like i should know at this point titanic they, they could have the fight card they could just be titanic titanic uh okay sure slime bind so i can't really attack with this guy so we're probably gonna block one of these guys Yeah, Kaya's Wrath one time. <laughs> sure, my dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seems good. Kaya's Wrath off the tippity top one time. It's all we need. Third ill gotten in here. Yep, and you can see why I'm not a big fan of Ill-Gotten Inheritance. When you're ahead and you play Ill-Gotten Inheritance, it's it's really, really good. And so you guys are probably playing it when you're super ahead. But if you're not ahead, and they have even one or two creatures more than you do, it's kind of garbage. 
So we can block here and here, we still take three. All right, seems good. Seems good. We didn't see anything worthy of exposed to daylight. I mean, they did have slime bind, but I don't think that's exposed worthy. Yeah, it's right here. Sitting, sitting right there. I actually don't mind Blade Brand. This might actually be decent. The problem is they do have like Slime Bind and Fairy Duelist, so it's like, oh well. I feel like two max is correct. I think we can cut one. I was really just trying it out to see how many, how like have if the maximum number would be. Let's actually bring in Justiciar's Portal. The first strike is good, and also the able to blink a Slime Binded creature is nice. Yeah, I feel like two is probably the max. I'm gonna go down to three here because we're still testing it, but. Yeah, but I feel like there's a ton of decks that have a lot of tempo in this format. I don't feel like that's uh, an obscurity, you know? Uh, 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 let's see if we can get our, one of our three red sources with two skewer the critics in hand. We did mulligan because we'd have to hope a mulligan is better than this six card, these, these five cards, right? So a six card hand has to be better than these five cards. I think that's going to be not only uncommon, but these aren't dead cards. Like if we draw any red source, they just get turned on, which is very, very good. So we'll try to deal with it. I might actually add one more red source. Ocean man, take me by the hand of love. You gonna get in there with this guy? That'd be weird because it's a much better blocker. Like I'd rather block with this guy than this guy. So if I attack with both, oh, that was that's what we're talking about. Sure. It's so weird in this form where you're like, oh, they're playing blue green. They have no way to deal with this ever. I mean, they do have Azorius Guildgate, so they could be splashing, like, Expose, but... It's just a weird feeling. They're like, oh, green deck, huh? Okay. Can I get a red source? Can a dude get a red source that's untapped? One of one of our uh, one of our one red sources that are untapped? Perhaps? The answer was no. Nor could a dude get a fifth land for their, for their Thrully Boy. Scamming the or Orzhov? Um, it's hard to say. I wouldn't really want to do that because I feel like uh, the consequences would be extremely high. So, you know, you gotta be careful. Sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, well, that's that's fantastic. I cannot see an attack being profitable here.
I'm just gonna double block here. I'm sure you have a trick, but what can I do about it? Nothing. Well, you could not block. Yeah, I guess that's true. I could not block. But then I'll just never, like, I'm just gonna live in fear for the rest of my life? I don't think so, man. Oh, you killed my 1-3 instead of my 3-1? And I got to gain 3 life? Well, I'll be. Sure. We didn't stop the guys. Well, I'll be. Uh, I don't see any attacks being great here. Amazon sent me an email like, hey, your Prime is about to renew soon. And I'm like, tell me. It doesn't, nowhere does it say like what the price is. I don't know if they've raised it or not. I don't know. Oh, 119 a year, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I get way more value out of it than 100 a year. 119 a year is what? 10 bucks a month? Yeah, that's fine. So if we go if we go three here, we put them to nine. This puts them to eight. Three, four puts them to four. And then we can activate this to kill them. Unless they have an answer to these guys. Even then it's not they're not in great shape. They only have three. And they don't have any floaty blockers. Any Ricci boys. One, two. Like you do. God, they're, they just never, never don't have it. It's unbelievable. Well, so one, two puts them to five, and they're like two turns away now, so. Working shock to crab. What a way to make a living. Working shock to crab. It's gonna take five. We're at 19, my dude. Sixteen, my dude. How you feeling about this ill-gotten inheritance, my dude? Pretty bad, I bet. Prime in the U.S. is expensive. How much is it? El how much is it elsewhere? Let's add one more red source. Seven, eight, nine, five. What's our? We have way more black than than white cards, so we can take eight planes out, add one more mountain. Might want to add get the point, but I think we have so much removal already. This is a deck where I actually don't even hate locket that much, just because it's like it ramps. We have so many five drops that like a locket into five drop would be pretty decent. Maybe Locket's better than like Plague Right, Plague White, Plague Right. <laughs> 
All right, we'll keep it. I, you know, it's a two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop situation where like if we draw lands, what are the what are the odds we don't draw lands, guys? Come on. See, I told you. You just gotta be yeah, keep faith. Keep uh keep your head up, you know. You gotta just keep uh keep your eyes open, face forward, you know. Oh, there we go. See, now we're talking. This is what's known as living the dream. No, well, not anymore, I guess. Okay. Five ninety nine. All right, hold on. Uh, pound. Is that pounds or is that euros? I'm literally just gonna kill this guy before it gets out of hand. All right, so. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that actually is pretty low. I thought the conversion was gonna be a lot different. My God. Well, we do need another black here, so I guess we can just keep on holding on until the black gets here. Bezos hates America. Well, I mean, just pay more taxes, my dude. Like, it's really not that hard. God, black source, 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 black source. All right, that actually gives us a chance for them to play one more creature. Black source, black source, black source. Doesn't Amazon own Twitch? Because that's awkward. Okay, this could be good if they play something. Just play something else. All right, we hit a quench. Nailed it. Got him. I'm about to bust. That's probably that's probably all they got. We already saw the quench. Like they didn't have. I don't, we never saw two quenches. We just saw the one quench. So. I like that we have skewer the critics, but they're like, let's tap the red mana. No big deal. Oh, this guy gets something. Well, that dude's gonna die. Well, like a one, two, three, when they have enough to pump at the same turn, so. Maybe not. So this is three. This is two, puts them nine. This puts them to six. And then we have infinite block. Yeah, this we know they're going to draw this, so we're just going to skewer. Oh my god, the magic did it again. I have a card that I can fucking cast with a red mana, and you tap the red mana. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? So they're going to go to six, they're going to go five. If they're still, they should, uh, if we hit a land, they'd be dead. I guess they're dead anyway. Whatever. All right, so we're gonna take out one of the uh, one of these bad boys, and we're gonna bring in like. I might just be locket. Let's bring in a locket. I like the locket. We have a lot of five drops, and it helps our. Oh, let's actually add the one. Add one more mountain too, just to even things up a little bit. I don't think we have any double white cards except for wrath, but we also added a locket, so. It's probably not accounting for spectacle cards, but nonetheless, like, oh yeah, it's not accounting for spectacle cards, and like they're keeping up the mana that I have more, that produces different colors. So the, the more versatile mana is what they're keeping up. Uh, yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Well, okay, let's not go crazy with the with the mountains now. Those are the only two mountains in the deck.
Oh, so play this guy. If we can get another white source, I'm on board. Well, there's no guarantee of the white source, so I'm kind of just tempted to like kill this guy now. So we don't take five here. Because it also means we don't do anything if we don't do this, so. And we can still play Carry Nymph next turn. Well... Come on, white source. One time. Daddy needs a white source. Five color good stuff, I have not. Which is kind of surprising, I guess. Daddy didn't get... I guess we actually could put Grasping Thrall there, but I, I'm kind of like, I kind of want it to have it post, post Wrath, because it's just a good creature to keep around. Whereas this guy keeps us alive. Uh, no blocks. I'm not gonna... This guy just... Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Okay. White source right now. It's not a white source at all. Okay. So this is this is our life now. My god. Block here, we take six, we gain three, so we take three, but if they kill this, we're actually dead on board. So Juposhi, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Three years ago, you slipped on some ice that fell out of Mike's mouth and hit your head. You've been in a coma ever since. Oh, God, I knew it. I actually had a feeling about that. Okay. Second white source is all we're looking for. Remember that time we were like, let's put one more mountain in instead of a white source. And we literally drew the mountain instead of the plains. Yeah. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Are you ready? That's not, that's still not the white source we need. Come on, this is, this is, this is painful, guys. Oh, this is painful. Take six, sure. Okay. Not a not a not a thing. That's a Ugh. block block, we take four and this guy hits us for one. Gain two, we go block block. I guess we're just playing this out. We're not dead, but boy is it bad. Yeah, just throw them all in the just throw them all in the red zone, my dude. And it's gonna be Orzov. It's just gonna let's be clear, it's gonna be Orzov Guildgate off the top. So if we block here, we take three, four, five, six, seven. That's not ideal. So now we take five. T. Jesse, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Kill this block here. Take four. Okay. Well. Oh God. It's never easy, guys. It's never easy. Cut it. Add it. I don't. 
So six, I mean, we had seven extra white sources in the deck. I don't know. You know what? I like 4 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop, 5 drop hand with 2 lands actually. I think it's very good. It's not. What's the red splash for? Doubles skewer the critics and we have to get the point in the sideboard. Yeah, another 5 drop. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, magic. It's all I want is 5 drops. I want to have no way to interact with my opponent until turn 4 or 5. No way. Okay. <laughs> oh god, two land drops gone already. Well, they can pump now, so we're probably not going to block. Because then they, they pump, we block with two, both these die, they trade one. It doesn't feel great. No blocks. But also now they get to play like Rakdos Juggler, whatever it's called. Well, I mean, if we double block, that'd be worse if they did that. So, yep, still no plays. Oh, I guess we could have attacked there. But I'm so tilted right now because all I want to do is play Magic. And Magic is like, we don't want you to do that. And I was like... Okay, that's fair, I guess. But it was not fair. Sure. See, now we're in a position where if we hit a land, we're in good shape. Did you guys not hear the comical audience laughter? It was there. Was it too low? Maybe it's too low. Audience get low, low, low. Just this guy, huh? So I can... You can pump this guy once, make him a 3-3. Three, three. I can double block. You kill both my dudes. I'll pass. Okay, good. That probably means you have nothing, right? It does mean that. I don't even think I attack with this. Like, this is a fine trade because we get two 1-1s one out of it, but... I think it's probably better on defense. Like, double block here. I 
I don't mind people asking for draft codes, but it's very funny when like, this is your first message ever in my chat. You were first here 10 seconds ago and you're not following. So it's like kind of weird. It's kind of a weird thing to do, like a random stream. I'm just like, you're just gonna walk in and be like, hey, do you got anything for free that I can have? I've never supported your channel in any way, shape or form and I've never actually watched your content, but do you have any free things? It's just a really weird position to take, I think. Get him. <laughs> hey, can you pay my rent? Uh, I will in the fourth month. After the, if, if after these three months you still don't have anything uh, going on. I think we win when this board is clear. So I'm going to get rid of this Grudion. I, I think it's a... I think it's a bad trade for us, but we got some value off this guy already, and I don't think they have anything, whereas, like, our hand is actually pretty good. I just need one. I'm like, yeah, everyone just needs one. That's all you get. <laughs> it doesn't... Oh. You sure any more than one? I got two. You need two? I don't care if you trade with this guy, because this guy is actually really hard to deal with. Cool story, bro. Cool mangler, bro. It can be a code for anything, I just need one code. The funny thing is, I actually do have like seven codes that someone gave me. And I'm gonna give them out. But that ain't how you go about getting one. Also, I do have a code. You can go to MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore and you'll get 15% off and free shipping and free returns if you don't like them. And you will. You will like them. But, uh, yeah, go there. Use my affiliate code. We have a good time. Let's get ready for game three. Been watching your YouTube content for a few months now. Always excited when you're drafting. Thanks, Rip, Rip Sipsis. Thanks, Rip Saspis. Rip Saspis. Is that correct? Did I, did I nail it? Really appreciate it, buddy. Also appreciate the the length of the sub as well. Thank you so much. Can we, can we start this match? Pretty good hand. I like this hand. I was actually pleasantly surprised at this hand. If we can draw an oligarch, that'd be sweet, because then we have two two drops to Is it worth just dropping two drop or do we just want to go into vampire? Because like the thing is we're gonna have to take a turn off for this. I think going three drop, four drop, four drop is probably better. Especially because they didn't play anything. Been out of Magic Loop for a little bit, but I remember you were doing bids for TCG Player and then switched to Channel Fire, still doing... Uh, I no, I've been doing my own stuff for about a year now, a little over a year. Um, I have been really appreciating the creative freedom it brings. However, there is definitely a perk to, uh, to the exposure you get from sites, but... 
Cosmotronic supersonic sound? That wasn't a sound bite. That was just me saying it. But also, it's not even relevant anymore because Ravnica is not even a draftable format. Well, you can see we're not going to block either of these or this guy. So if you want to just trade here, that's just fine. Cosmotronic supersonic. Oh, I see. Oh, we're just playing the ill-gotten inheritance game. I understand. Round and round we go. Nice. This is fine. I trade one guy. I get two blockers out of it. I guess you could say things are going pretty well. Oh, I definitely meant the exposure from big MTG websites, but Nature's Little Treasure is, uh, is just making jokes, so... I don't think we care about the two damage here. Like, we take three, we go to 11, but then they take a lot back if they don't. They're also missing a second color, which is actually pretty impressive that they're able to compete this this favorably without with only one color. Like, that's actually pretty crazy. I don't think they're mono black. I think they definitely played other cards last game. Do I actually want to kill this? Probably, right? Like, it's just not great. I think we're good. Alright, so I guess we're 3-0. That seems okay. Oh, uncommon? Yeah. Maybe they did sideboard in a mono black. They're like, you know what? I don't even need these other colors. I actually forgot what the other colors were. Yeah, I like this hand. Two drop, four drop, four drop. Any one land or any three drop in or pretty good. Excuse me. I'm like, oh, that was. See, there's a two drop. So that's actually kind of like a three drop in the sense that we can play it on three. And that's a three drop. Alright, so how about that land? Okay, no, no land, huh? Land, land would be amazing because we have double four drop, double five drop. So if we're just able to play our cards. I think we're doing all right. No, well, it's all right. It still counts. This is a fine attack. I'm not going to trade this, but... Yeah, all right. What a dummy playing a Mardu deck. Get out of here, little scorpion. You're going to get hurt. I mean, if this is a if this is a trade you want to make, I'm game. Oh, 
double roostabouts. Okay, well. A fine trade. Oh, we could actually messenger. I don't know why we played this guy. I was like, oh, I got two of these guys. Might as well play it. So I, I kind of autopiloted to play that guy. But Kai, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. For some reason, my Streamlabs is not... Uh, Discard another vampire. We don't have the mana for these, but we will. And it's just better. Plus, like, the 3-4 is so... It's, it's nice to block it with a 1-3 and a 3-1. I have Grasping Thralls as well that I would like to play. Okay, now we can do it. Well, I don't feel like attacking is in our best interest anymore. They have a 3-3 three, three for our 2-3s. Three, so they have a 3-4 for our 3-1. What up, y'all? What up, Neon Tokyo Rain, if that is your real name? It's not. Phony. If we attack with all, they block here, they take three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, they go to six. And then we have, they block the other guy, they take one, two, three, four, five. I'm okay with this, actually. You're gonna block the carrying imp, I bet. Sure. <laughs> Is that the model for 4 C I see on stream? 4 C I see. Uh, we sack a creature. Get rid of a 1 1, I guess. That did not seem impressive at all, unfortunately. I was like, oh, attack with all, do that. That seems good. What could go wrong? Sometimes you wear too many glasses, if you know what I mean. So this guy, you have to block here. Then you take three, four, five. You can block one ground guy. So you take, you can block two guys, basically. You can block here and here. You take three, four, six, seven, eight. I'm okay with this. Like, if they go block three, four, then this guy can't block here, right? So that's fine. Three, three has to block three, three, I think. Sure. This is, this is scary that you're doing it like this, because you go to one... We're gonna play this in case you draw any other land we can pump twice, so. Two menace guys and three flyers seems like it's probably victory. I don't know what you mean too many glasses. I also have I have prescription lenses too that I can put on. Let's just let's just put them all on at once. There we go. This is a totally normal stream. This is what people do, right? This is how, this is how you get, this is how you get them Twitch views. How did you get so many views on your stream? I just put three pairs of glasses on at once. <laughs> oh, baby, a triple. 
Oh, we have a good time. We won the game. I don't know if you guys were here for it. Could you see it? I couldn't see it because I had so many glasses on. I don't think we saw anything we really care about. Like, we didn't see any enchantments, so I think we're good without that. I'm just going to submit. I can put three glasses on at the same time. Well, that's a weird flex, but okay. Oh, wow. It's super weird looking out of these prescription glasses now. Oh, God. Oh, it feels so weird. I hadn't looked at these for a while. Oh, wow. That's not... That's surreal. I'm like the Spider-Man meme. Like... Eh, keep. You can go on the bottom. Oh, they went to six too? Good deal. That's fair. I feel like my head hurts now. It no, I don't feel like I don't feel myself reaching for my glasses. I do feel like I have contacts in sometimes. There's sometimes when I'm actually looking at things, like on the computer and it's late at night. And I have to like force myself to focus or else my eyes kinda like they don't focus. They'll just be kinda like staring instead of viewing. So that's one thing I did notice where it's like Um like that was like it was like that with contact lenses too, and I think it's just my eyes being tired, and so I have to like I have to consciously focus and be like, okay, hold on, I need to look at this and I need to focus, and so I have noticed that. Joke's on you, I got a I got a bird. It's the same guy playing the Mardu deck. What's wrong with you? You can't say it twice per per match. Very aggressive. Oh, the, the old double thrall, eh? Six mana. Can you do anything with six mana? Steal my thrall. Okay. So we're going to take four here. Definitely blocking here. See, if they just pump this guy, we would have taken three. We only take one more and they lose active treason. That doesn't seem great. We could play both of these, which is actually pretty good. Double block here. They kill the vampire. It's all good. Yep. All right. We're getting real close to, to scary town now. No, no, we're not. I was just kidding. This is nice because no matter what, we're getting three here, so. I've actually been tempted to get to, like, whatever the optic, whatever the optic glasses are that help you with monitors. I think Kenji wears them. I don't know if they're, like, it's it's hard to tell if it's just, like, a scam or if it actually does help. This dude's, like, literally, like, oh, you played a Thrall? I'll play a Thrall the next turn. Oh, you played a Vampire? I'll play a Vampire the next turn. You have no Fortress? Oh, this is actually really good. Um, let's get rid of this. So if we don't actually give you a chance, you're just dead, right? We just attack you in the air. Right? How are you not dead? Oh, you are dead. Okay. 
Seems good. What is this amulet deck? Alright, so we're 4-0. Seems good. Yeah, I have the blue light filter so that it, it comes in like it's it's less at night. But that only that only comes also there's like a huge LED light in front of the monitor, so that's also pretty rough on the eyes. I'll I'll actually keep this. Kaya's Wrath could be good. I mean we have to draw two lands, so let's not let's not go crazy here. One down. And this hand is also four 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 six, so. Alright, white source. Or a three drop white source. Wow, I haven't had a migraine since. It's actually, that's a pretty resounding, uh, It's a pretty resounding endorsement. Oh, that was actually a great draw. No, it's not, because we needed a white source, not a red source. So I guess we're going to play this. They're going to buff this guy, because it costs two less, so they go land, buff, or they don't. Well, I guess they're going to play Orzhov Guildgate. Sure. Oh, I found a white source. hoping they play another guy, that's all. Because if they just pump this guy and attack for 8, it's really sad. I guess we get to resolve it at least. Yeah, the night light is what I'm referring to. Which reduces the blue light. Maybe they just don't have anything in their hand. Maybe there's mana screw as well. Okay. Is that their turn? Oh. Give me one land so I can actually play this without quench consequences. Quench acquences. Nope. Didn't work. Oh. Sure. Yeah. Oh, is that all? <laughs> okay. You got it. This is where they go plus three, plus three, plus one, and they just kill us. That's not. They didn't do it. Caspi, what's going on, buddy? Oh, look at these. they're just playing all these creatures with no with no targets. That's pretty cool. If we draw a consign, I'm just going to kill this. We didn't, so I guess we'll just play... Two, three, four, five. If we play this, we're taking four, but then we, we go to five, and then we gain three. I actually think this is fine here. We're not going to block this guy, so we're preventing one if we play Syndicate Messenger, but I'd rather... Like, over time, if we get to survive for two turns, like, it's just... It's just a better play. Thank you. Miss Vixen with the resub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Two months till that sub baby is ready to go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Are you going to counter this guy? 
encounter this guy? There's gotta be a frilled mystic here somewhere. Sure. <laughs> you got it. So we take four, go to four, then we go back to seven. We have vampire. I mean, as long as there, you don't have two pump spells in your hand. Cool. planes. Oh, how sneaky. Pretty sneaky, sis. I'll trade with either of these guys. Both of these guys are pretty good. Alright. If we draw a land, we can play Carrying Imp and Skewer the Critics, presumably. That's not a... I mean, we could have played Consign last game to kill the, the guy, but, like, they had Quench, so it wouldn't have resolved. We only had seven mana. Um, so, like, realistically, the only thing we could have done is play the, the Griffin first, and that would have been a blocker. I think we just attack with all here. Sure. This card is very annoying. I don't want them to play a gate and then just draw a card for free. Like, that's really not going to... That's not going to help anybody. Alright, so they're one shot of actually using that. What are the odds they have a quencher Reno? I imagine pretty high. Maybe. Hard to say.
I could definitely make this guy a 6-6, six, six, but is attacking profitable when you're at, when we're at 29? I'm not gonna play this out if they're if they still have mana up, like it just doesn't make sense. Okay. Yeah, and one more land we can play around the quench. So that's pretty cool. And you can pump this guy. Or they can even activate this to pump this guy and make it like a 10 10, but. That we can play around, which is nice. Oh, Chillbringer doesn't have flight. If you have like the. I mean, I'm guessing I'm grateful Biogenic Mutation doesn't give flight. <laughs> or like Trample. At least I don't think it does. But like they go to one, or they go to five, then they go to three, and then we kill them. <sighs> okay. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, so they're actually oh, this is actually surprisingly good. No blocks, and now you should be dead, right? Because you have one you have you can only block one of these. So you go to four, then five. Yeah, they're just dead. Why do people keep attacking into our our lethal on board? So weird. They're like, you know what? You got lethal on board. I'll attack. All right. Well, you could just block instead and not die. Very interesting. We saw one quench. We did not see a second quench. Get the point. Actually, might be good because they have a bunch of six sixes. We also have Kaya's wrath though. We have wrath and consign, and double skewer the critics, which should be enough. I don't know. Yeah, like taking us to, from 23 to 29, like when it means you just die on the next turn, is not ideal. But. Oh, what the, oh, yeah, here we go. This is the winning. This is the game winning hand, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually fine. I will actually keep that. We need a white source, but not anytime soon, and this does give us some play. Like, they have infinite good two drops. They have at least two har Sora form hybrids, and they have at least one Biomancer's Meganser. The mutation man. Planes off the top would be very welcome. Wow. Don't be a, don't be a gate. It wasn't a gate. That's why they play gate sneak. This is nice because whatever they play, we can kill. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna kill this. Well, unless they have. Wow, we've drawn three of the four red sources in our deck and zero of the nine white sources. Quench it! 
<laughs> sure. Keep your little guy. This is a mutant, which is an interesting creature type because it's a mutant. What? Like it's it's got you got to have a base to have a mutation, right? Like this is a mutant fox, right? It's a fox that's mutated. Like having a being a mutant implies a mutation, so you have to be something to mutate. So. Thank you. Static suicide. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. All right, another black source. That's pretty good. They actually have two cards in hand. I think we're okay if we can hit a white source. Maybe. Sure. I don't think I got this on very well. Yep, that's pretty good. Kai's, we don't have any white sources, so we literally have to go like, take five, white source, take six, 79, 10, 11, white source, try not to die. Six, 79, 10, 11, yeah, I think we're just dead here. Yeah, I'd like to think that, that, that despite the fact that we are 4-0 right now, uh, these matches have definitely uh, highlighted the shortcomings of ill-gotten inheritance. You guys are like, this card is amazing. It's like one of the best cards. I don't think it is. Um, I think it's a do-nothing card on turn four. <sighs> yeah, this is probably game. It's amazing that we drew three sources of red and zero sources of white. Such random. Wow. That's... Yep. All right. Both players fought hard. Had a good game. I'm looking for one win. One more win. That's actually a decent uncommon. Come on, we can do it. A do-nothing card that wins the game, but only if you lift... Right, like, if you're already ahead and you have the board position, it's going to lock in your win. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to solidify uh, that advantage that you already have, for sure. It's a great card in that, in that respect. But if you're behind, if they have two creatures and you have nothing out and you spend a turn playing Ill-Gotten Inheritance, you're probably falling, you're just falling even further behind. It's rough, it's, it's, a, it's an awkward situation. You know what, this is fine. It's not the card's fault that I played two spells that game and my opponent played five. That has nothing to do with what I'm saying. I'm literally making a general statement about the card and how it plays in matches. And if this has gone on over the course of multiple games. Like, this has been the theme of this whole draft so far because I'm trying this card out. But, I mean, I don't know why we're, we're restricting it to that one specific match. That's kind of weird. See, this is nice because we can play a guy and then we can play Ilgotten, but... Oh, and they're just missing land drops. Well. Huh. See, now we're in a position where it's like, oh, we can play Ill-Gotten Inheritance. You only have a 2-2. And then we can play another Ill-Gotten Inheritance. Pretty good. See. I 
I mean, it has won us a few games. I didn't say it can't win games, but I was also ahead those games. I also had a board position those games. If you top deck this, it's not great. If I top deck a Grasping Thrall, I feel much better about it. If our opponent has one or two creatures and I top deck this, I'm still going to take like five a turn. If I take, if I top deck this, I'm, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. No blocks. Yeah, I think we're at a point where we ha might have an event. They go to nine next turn. So we can four them, put them to five. They take one, go to four, and then we can... Like, we're actually at a point where this is eight, nine, ten, eleven damage, so... But it's because we had the luxury of, like, paying four mana, paying four mana, paying six mana, paying six mana. Like, it's not it's not an easy thing to do. Shut up and take my money. One ill-gotten buck. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, man. I mean, like, yeah, when they don't play two drop and then they play a two drop on turn three because they miss land drops. I mean, if we're going to trade here, we might as well just trade here instead, so... You block it with your enchantment tokens. That's actually a solid strategy. This crack one. They go to five. They take one from the other one and then they die, right? I'm not like... I'm not missing anything here, right? I don't know what they can play to stop that kind of shenanigans from happening. And of course we bought wood. Uh, I agree. The board stall's out in some matches, been as good there. I do agree with those positions. Like if you're if you're in a board stall, it's it's great. The card is great because it really puts you on a, on a high clock. <laughs> I think like two might be the limit. I, we had four at first and I was like, let me see how many we can get of these and how good it is. Uh, four was definitely too many. Three might be too much. Yeah, we're just going to kill them. That's what we're going to activate this. They go to five. They take one from the other one and go to four and then we activate the other one for the last four. Sure. And none of this matters. What I say... What I know, never find new and activate this thing. They're like, let's see if he sees it. He sees it. I would just play this to be cute. Like, oh, here's a grasping spell and just screw the critics. But, like, we don't have to do all that. We don't have to show them these cards. Hmm. Uh, Expose is definitely coming in because they have, you know, a Rhythm of the Wild. Shut up just in time to see the opponent's face explode. And that's usually, that's the best time to get here.
That's something you don't get on MTGO. That's true. In the old version of MTGO, your avatar would take damage. Like your Bird of Paradise would be looking real sickly and stuff like that. Wow, Kai has Wrath of Double Mountain in hand, huh? Like, we have plays. We have this. We can probably get here. I'll keep this. Do I want five drop? No, I don't think so. That card's great, but I'd rather have more uh, impactful cards like the Expose, like Kaya's Wrath, things like that. Six drop? Okay. I mean, we can cast Kaya's Wrath if we draw it now, so. It's also something going to get in paper either. That's true. Well, that is a 3-3. Three, three. That is another ill-gotten inheritance. Well, if we don't draw the third one. Did they play a land and then play open the gates? That's interesting. Especially if they get a gate here. I'll... Huh. I feel like I downloaded a beta of a new version of MTGO they were working on years ago. What does that mean? Okay, that'll play. Okay. You got it. I actually don't want to play the mountain yet because we don't need to. And if we draw Kaya's Wrath, I want to be able to just windmill slam that bad boy. Like a lot of cards, Ill-Gotten Inheritance would be a great card if it made copies of itself every turn. I agree with you. And by great, we mean broken, right? There was a different version of the client and it was in beta. Did you download that? Are you playing that? Because that seems weird. That seems weird. Sure. I hope you're real proud of yourself. Play your gateway plaza. I want to play this because if we draw a gate and nothing else, I would like to just be able to screw the... Actually, we'd probably still play Elgotten Inheritance and skewer this guy. This is nice because it triggers this. Although, keep in mind, it is not a Rakdos card. It's almost an... Or it's, a, it's way more Orzhov than Rakdos. Do we want to play... One, two, three... I think it's just second Elgotten Inheritance. We take, we take five, though, is really the problem here. Gracious Kitty, have a good afternoon. Really appreciate the hanging out. Enjoy your date. Good luck. Good luck. This is a lot of open the gates. Are they playing like 15 land deck? This is a lot of territorial boars as well. I mean, I guess... Wow. Haste it up. I think we're dead here. I don't feel good about our odds. We're at five. Any any four four creature, any three three creature uh, kills us here. That's not it. That'll do. All right. Why well, play the land? I don't know. People love to be like, I'm gonna do everything I can before I kill you, even though you have no out here. Okay. Well, that is your choice. Like you definitely have the right to do that. It's just a weird practice. I'm bored. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Twenty twelve they had version three point and four point running simultaneously. Yeah, that's right, right. Right. What's your point? I don't understand what you're saying though. You say I feel like I downloaded a beta of a new version of MTJ they were working on years ago, but I might be imagining it like Oh you I, I don't think I understand your 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 statement out of context though. Like I'm not sure what like, you feel like that right now? Did you download it right now? 
I guess I'm not understanding the point of the, the, the dialogue here. This hand is terrible, but it's, it has good cards in it. This hand is good. Okay. They kept seven? Of course they did. Eh, whatever. I don't like a fourth land in the mouth on this client. I don't know why. Yes, my language is jacked up. Okay. As long as we're on the same page here. You gonna get Gateway Plaza? A Gruel Guild Gate? <sighs> the Scope of Vampire would be nice. Into Mountain. Yep, I actually figured you had that in hand. How does it feel to be one of the Orshoff people? There's taxes you have to pay. What's a main board? Guys, here's a little, here's a little uh, public service message. Don't call things main boards. It's not a real term. You just made it up. There's a sideboard and there's a main deck. Oh, a little sheepy. Well, let's go no attack because, well, they're going to play Gruel Guild Gate and have a 4-4. We don't really have a way to deal with this. We could double block here. Presuming they don't play a fifth gate or have any kind of trick whatsoever. And uh, by fifth gate, I mean fifth land, that's a gate. Um, make it a 5-5. Five, five. There's a lot of fives in my in my brain. It would be a 5-5. Five, five. You'd have five lands total. Uh, presuming they don't play a third gate, making it a 5-5. Five, five. Or, you know what? Never mind. I'm done. This train of thought's not going anywhere. This train is not leaving the station. That's not what I wanted to do. I kind of put it back here, but I guess that's what we're going to have to deal with. Baby, you're a rich man too. Yeah, I think not hitting that fifth land when we have two five drops in hand is really going to hurt us here. You get it, because we have two five drops and we couldn't play them. Like you do. Let's block and take seven so we don't take lethal here. Oh, this gets trample and this has trample, so I guess it doesn't matter. Wow. Magic, ladies and gentlemen. Literally no idea what we can draw here. This is literally plus 12, plus 12. Wow. Wow, what is this, like four open the gates? Jesus, three open the gates? Cool. Well, four two, not bad. Not bad. I mean, I'd rather play Magic and actually draw my lands, but I guess, you know, sometimes you can't do that. And I understand. Magic's a hard game where sometimes you have to disincentivize one player from winning by uh, cutting them off from the basic resources that the game requires. Either way, let's claim our prizes. Five packs. Not too bad. Not too bad. God, nothing tilts me more than getting mana screwed or mana... Oh, that's right. This isn't even exciting anymore because, like, unless it's a mythic rare, it's literally just... 20 gems every time. That's a good one. I like that. Yep. Sure. The 20 gems is so absolutely useless. So a draft is 1,500, right? So 1,500 divided by 20... It will take you 75 packs to get a draft. 75 packs of 20 gem rares, of 20 gem rare slots to do a draft. 
Like, I don't even understand the point of giving us 20 gems. Like, it just does nothing. It's absolutely useless. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Sun those like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can uh, find me also at meundies.com slash franklapore. And I will see you guys next time. Really appreciate the support. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.